Yo guys, it's Sly Red, you already know that today we are back playing some more Sly 3. Uh, it is a new day, so I am not nearly as angry. Uh, <laughs> I kind of rage quit this boss fight because I made it right to the end. And uh, we'll see how it goes today. It might not be that bad, it might still be bad. Uh, I'm expecting it to be pretty bad. I honestly don't really see what the, the tar does. So honestly, when it gets to the second phase, I might not even bother doing the tar. Because it just like makes uh, Octavia go into his like non-stop backflip move, which just like hits me all the time. So, I don't know. Uh, I don't expect to struggle as much today. But, uh, yeah, I did have to play through the mission again to get to this point. So, that is why I'm at this pause menu. Because we are here. Ow. And of course. <laughs> Ow. Um, so, it might still it might still take a couple uh, tries. I don't really know. See, the target does pretty good here. I can look how many hits I can get off. But in the second phase, like he was just going into like non-stop like, backflip mode. Which was like not very good. Um, so, we'll see how it goes. I think I can just kind of, like, non-stop punch him here. He doesn't really seem to be doing that much damage to me. Uh, but yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to finishing this fight. And then we can, uh, get to the, the, the second episode, which is, you know, pretty exciting. Okay, so, now he's doing his, his backflip thing when he's not in the tar. Which makes sense. If the entire point is use the tar, then he should be easier to fight once you, uh, get him in the tar. Oh, he just did it, and I just didn't do anything about it. That's that's on me. Come here. Oh, I thought he was going to back up again. As long as I can, like, kind of get out of it, I think I'm fine. It's just like... Oops. It's just I, I always end up being in the middle of a punch when he goes to, to jump up, and then I'm like... I kind of get myself stuck. Alright, that one, that one he didn't even hit me. I'm not even sure if that one punch connected. I didn't look at the health bar when I punched, and he, he, he like, jumps, like, right as I go to punch, and I'm not sure if it's doing damage or not. Um, it might be. I mean, you can try. Yeah, we'll see how this one goes over here, because this is the, the part that I'm... that I struggled with. It's not the first part. Like, obviously, I have lost a little bit of health, but, like, I have more health than he does, so as long as I keep up this, um this pace. I should be fine. But we'll see. Uh, no you. Oh, right, that's because it has the extra, the extra, like, blast, yeah. Oh, that one still hit me. Maybe I can... If I jump? This one's out. Oh. Alright, so maybe that's the, the thing. Maybe I just have to make sure I jump before I... Come here. Alright, so that one doesn't have the, the after, uh, the extra, like, aftershock. Oh, that one still hit me. Oh, ow. Oh, lag. I mean, I got a little close, but also that hit me. I'm just gonna try and get punches in where I can, I guess. Ow. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna end up losing this one as well. The second base here is just like really dumb. Oops. Why did I just stand still? Ready with the tar. I don't know. This is like, I, I just don't understand what, what I'm supposed to do about, like... I punched, and I just got hit. I punched, and I got hit. I punched, and he got hit. Okay, I just jumped out of the way. Ow! There's no tell... Well, no, there, there kind of is, but, like, when you're up close, there's no, like, real tell... Oh, I hate that it's not... That into down. phases. I, I literally might just like edit this down to, to when I win because this is just not fun. It's not gonna be fun to watch. This is like maybe the worst thing in any Sly Cooper game. I, I hate this with a burning passion. See, like this time when I punch him, like he like I punch him out of his backflip so he doesn't like do damage. Like for for in the second phase, he just has like hyper armor for like all my hits. 
Like, he can just, he can just, like, punch through mine, and, like, he does way more damage to me. Um, which, like, that part's fine. The doing more damage to me. He, he doesn't need to do, we don't need to do the same amounts of damage. Um, the part that's, like, frustrating is just, like, see, look at, look at this. You see how I just, like, comboed him, like, five times there? It doesn't need to be, like, that easy, but, like, at the same time, in the second phase, he's just like, oh, you can't, you can barely even get off one hit. But I'm, like, flying through the first phase. And then the second phase is just like, oh, he becomes impossible. I don't know if this is like a common thing or if I'm just like incredibly bad. Um, I guess either being the case, but uh, just know that I hate this. And if I lose again, there's just going to be a lot of editing done to, to, to edit this down. Because I'm not spending an entire episode doing this fight. That's just ridiculous. See how it goes. I have to listen to this every single time. How did they not progress to the point where you can just like skip like a little cutscene? This one's not that that long, but still. Oh, he's always gonna start doing that. Jumping away seems to be the 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 play. Oh, except for when I'm a second too early. Yeah, that one I kind of punched him away. Are you gonna? I don't know what you're doing. I'll open another. Hang tight. See, now I think I actually can't hit him. Yeah, I think he moves out of the way when I when he's not in the tar. I'm ready. That's what I need the tar for. I think I also need to like make sure I land and then do the punches because if I uh, hit square before, oops. If I hit square before um, I land, then I end up doing a, the thunder flop, and I just don't. <laughs> I don't know that. I misread what move that was going to be. Uh, but yeah, if I end up thunder flopping him, it just it, it is not good for me. Right. This part just like maneuver around him. Don't let him hit me. All set with the tar. All right, we got the tar. Ow. Come here. Get in the tar. I'm surprised I wasn't too early there. He's literally at like one hit away, please. Moving to the next tar valve. What? Did he literally just get out of the tar just to dodge it like right at the last second? He's one hit away, but I don't trust that I can hit him. Draw him in. I'll let loose with the tar. Alright, finally. Well, that's eight. I did not like that. Worst boss in all of Sly Cooper. That's right. Step it in. Big time. Come on, Murray. I got the demolition switch. Let's get Bentley and run for it. We got cops closing in. Yeah, there's like a police boat literally right there. It's actually been there the whole time. At least for during that fight. Oh, I like the I like the three of them job complete uh, with that sort of setup. That's pretty nice. Eight percent. With the fight over, we went back and scraped Bentley off the pavement. <laughs> the way they say that. It was touch and go for a while there, but we managed to sneak out right under Carmelita's nose. Octavio wasn't so lucky. Good. The guy got thirty years behind bars for what he did to Venice. I guess Italians don't like it when you sink their landmarks. Crazy how that happens. Ironically, he found success as a singer while in jail. After all, most of his old fan base was already in the flame. But the big score here was bringing our old pal back into the gang. Yeah! Once he put on those gloves and that mask, it was clear to everyone, most of all him, that the Murray had returned. We love that. We love the return of Murray. So where do we actually go next, I wonder? I think Octavia was definitely one of the weaker uh, bosses. Even in, even in terms of like intro bosses, like definitely does not have the same presence as like Dimitri or even like Raleigh. Like, I don't know. I, I didn't really get sold. I didn't really understand what he was, he was even trying to do other than just be evil for the sake of being evil. He's like, I'm going to drown your city so that way you'll like my opera. I, I don't know. It's kind of dumb. So uh, we'll see where we're going. Looks like we're going to Australia. 
let's uh let's start the episode and uh, see how it goes. Isn't this like retro music? At first, it seemed just like old times. The gang was back in action. But little by little, we learned that Murray's heart just wasn't in it. Oh. Without the guru's permission to give up on his dreamtime training, he'd never really feel comfortable returning to the gang. We knew we needed to help him out. So we're going to go back to his guru. Okay. I like this. So, we packed up our things, whipped up some quick disguises, Coloring book. and headed for the Australian out. What are those disguises? <laughs> those disguises are pretty great. Along the way, Murray told us story after story about his teacher's amazing abilities. Apparently, nice Star Wars reference. Guru of his was capable of fantastic feats. He used the dream time to blend perfectly into his surroundings and even gain mental control over the weak minded. If even half the stories were true, then this was a guy I just had to meet. Is it meant for the bad guy? I don't know, usually mind control is not like a good thing. needed to grow its ranks for a chance to get inside the Cooper vault. And this guru, this outback mystic, was looking like the best recruit we could have ever asked for. However, when we finally arrived in the outback, it was a shock to find that things had changed. Oh, wow. And the guru was nowhere to be seen. Oh, no, we got to find him. All right. Rumble down under. Let's let's do it. Let's find this guru. I'm a little interested to see how this one uh, how this one goes, but it should be good. Uh, I also want to prioritize or not prioritize, but like make sure that I'm getting like uh, as much money as possible because I definitely left some gadgets unbought and. I want to not fall too far behind on them because I like to buy most, if not all, of them throughout the game. But we'll see how it goes. Oh, interesting. I see a lot of wires and lines and things. A lot of platforms. This seems like it could be fun. What's that crocodile with like a swamp over there? See some scary looking enemies. And what a safe house. New training challenges are available. Uh, yeah, bring on the hazard room. I'm gonna learn how to play as Murray, even though I just played as him. Um, what, what are you gonna teach me? What are you gonna teach me? Teach me things. Maybe I don't. I don't know. Murray could have a special new skill or something. All right, Murray. Time to brush up on your power moves. The first one is throwing stuff. Oh right, yeah. Chuck it. That's me. To make something up. Just get close and hit the circle button. Circle and then square to throw. Yep. Just face your target and press the square button. I forgot. I was like, how many other things does Murray have that like we wouldn't have done in the boss fight other than punch and like plunder flop? But yeah, throwing is kind of like a big part of his kit. Take that. And that. And that. I'm incredible at this game, I know. With one punch. You might have to be a little more subtle with the big flashlight guards. They're pretty tough. Sneak up behind this guy and sucker punch him while he's not looking. Then pick him up and throw him at the pillar. Gotcha. Sneak up, sucker punch, grab, throw, destroy. I can do that. Let's see what you got. Definitely not making any noise. Boom. And boom. An easy way to knock out guards is to throw something at them. Ah, the old rock to the head routine. <laughs> yep. Throw a rock at that guard to knock him out, then pick him up and throw him at that What if I throw four rocks at him and just kill him completely? Why is that not an option, huh? Grab him while he's out. And you're mine. And now you belong to the pillar. Well, Oh, I bet, yeah, I can probably pickpocket his, uh, Murray. Oh, how does Murray do it? But you can use your strength 
to mug him quite thoroughly. Oh, yeah. I just knock him flat and pick him up. Once you've got him above your head, press the circle button to shake loose any... Oh, this is great. Okay, I love this. I was gonna say, Bentley has his fishing pole. What in the world does Murray have? Oh, let's go. Alright, so I can sucker punch him from behind. Boom, take that. Oh, yes. Oh, fantastic. I'm gonna be doing that to a lot of enemies. Take that. I missed. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't matter. Okay, Murray. The juggle grab is one of your most powerful moves. Juggle grab? Born ready. When facing off against smaller opponents, you can knock them into the air with your triangle button uppercut. Okay. And then grab them before they hit the ground by pressing the circle button. Okay. Okay, it makes sense. Let me see if I've got it. Hit them with my triangle button uppercut. I'm actually really glad I did this. I feel like I would not have known uh, about some of this stuff. Okay. Hey, bud. You're coming with me. Hello, you. You know what? Same thing. You. I'll come with me. Back over here. No variety. There's an entire other side of the room. I, don't, I feel like it, it's very generous with the circle presses because I, I feel like I'm taking too long to hit circle, but I'm still getting away with it. Oh, yeah. Terror from above. Just jump and press the square button. That one I know how to do. Ground plate a few times. Oh, gosh. I can even make it over there. Wee! Oops. And three. I, I say third time's gonna be the charm. You're ready to take on the world. You sure are. Alright, I'm ready to take on the world. Let's see if we can do a mission really quick. Alright, I would love to. Is this how I leave? Looks like it. Take me back to Rumble Down Under. I don't know who has missions first. Probably Sly. Probably needing to go do some surveillance somewhere. Do I? Can I buy any gadgets? Can I look at what there is available? There's so many available. Oh my goodness. I do still want to prioritize ones that I think that I'll actually use. Um, so like a Berserker Charge maybe... Uh, Helm Extractor seems pretty useful. Uh, Spin Attack. Oh, right, I think I noticed that I bought the Spin Attack and then just, like, didn't know how to use it, uh, despite the fact that the description tells you how to use it. So I'm pretty sure, um, I have been able to do that, and I just haven't. Really tore this place up looking for Watch your step. Sure okay, so Triangle sort of does that. Place. And if I just do it quickly enough, I can, uh, do that. Anyway, uh, where am I going? Over there. You have... You don't have a shiny. Oh, gosh. I was going to, uh... Potentially... Pickpocket the guards. Uh, I'm just, I'm just kind of, like, looking how to... Like, what's the best way to get anywhere? Here's a shiny over here. Oh, that one bounces. Good to know. Ooh. Bit far away. Give me that. And that. And that. Oh, my gosh, that... There's gonna be a mission involving this alligator or whatever in the in the swamp. I I just know it. All right. So now uh, I came up here mostly because I see a very straightforward path to just jump over here. I could also have used the uh, that thing there to jump on. Uh, let's go ahead and do a, a mission really quick. My master spends most of his time up there in that cave, overlooking the valley and contemplating the depths of deepness. I really appreciate you breaking the news to him. And I want to break off my train. We're gonna find him up to some sort of evil plan in there. Before to meeting him, anybody you call master must be a heck of a guy. Oh, he's awesome. He'll get inside your head and freak you out in six ways from Sunday. Uh, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah, that does not inspire confidence at all. Oh, based on the land, I thought it was good. Oh, I thought it was up there, but we have to go over here. Interesting. 
Whatever you say, game, I will trust you. Oh, hello. Goodbye. The little kangaroo guy. Big fan. Come on, keep hopping this way. I'm not scared of you. I'm sorry. Is that a kangaroo in a cowboy hat? I'm sold. This is the this is the best enemy in the game. That that's the bar right now. Kangaroo cowboy is is my number one. Oh, now I do go over there. Oh, is it actually like leading me to like how to get up there? Oh my gosh. This is what I would have needed in uh in slide two in the in the world where I couldn't figure out how to get to the, the tower in the middle in episode three. When this thing has a guide, it really guides you, I guess. Got any other ideas where he might be? Well, that hit hut. But he doesn't really hang out there on account of the smell. The smell? It's a long story. I had to apologize up and down for like a month before he'd speak to me again. What did you do? The unspeakable sly. The unspeakable. Well, thanks for speaking of it. Yeah, no, we can keep it unspeakable. I am fine with that. Uh, I'm gonna go say hello to my friend, the kangaroo cowboy. Hey, buddy. I know you don't have a shiny, but I'm gonna steal your coins anyway. And then I'll give you a nice send off. All right, so over here we go. Ah, that was I was uh, looking at the uh, the guard down on the on the ground that I forgot to like aim where I was gonna land. I'm just like, I'm keeping an eye out for like, you know, money, shinies, treasure, all that sort of stuff. But we're going over that way. Actually, I'm, do you have anything? You do! Boom. I almost touched him. Hey, 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 hey. Give me that. Ooh, a gold ring. Nice, nice. I think the health extractor for Bentley was like 600. And I think that's something that I would like. Whoa, wait, wasn't there a thing? Ah, I lost it. I was like, there was definitely somewhere that I could have uh, climbed up. Is this thing that'll get me to jump? Ooh. Oh, I will. Oops. Oops. Is that even gonna get me? Oh yeah, you just have to jump better. Fair enough. This is fun. I always love swinging on these like hooks going places. I think it's very fun. General traversal with Sly is generally very fun. Not much of a surprise or hot take there. All right, let's investigate the hut. Sorry, Murray. Nobody's home. Hmm. By the looks of it, I'd say the guru was finding someone or something off here. I'm starting to think the miners might have got to him. You might be right. They'd come in and be all angry and yelling, and he'd be all peaceful, and they'd just get kicked. Then he'd try to find a middle way, and they'd just go crazy and smash everything up, and then haul them off. Where do you think they might Wait, this was like a consistent thing that happened? My master's a goner! Maybe we should get Bentley on the line. <laughs> Hmm. It makes like sense. There might be a way up using that cliff below. Shouldn't be a problem. Just keep an eye out for that gyrocopter. I'm positive it's what gave away the guru's position. Good tip. Thanks, pal. A gyrocopter? Can I fly a gyrocopter? Or does it just sort of fly itself? Is that sort of the point? Who knows? You really don't have much money. <laughs> I just want to, like, knock you off. Alright. Look at these spinning blades. Hello? No, thank you. Hey, you have a shiny? You have a shiny? Oh, you have a treasure. How am I supposed to get to it? I forget. Do I have... Mm, I do have a smoke bomb. Ow. Oh, dang it. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. He smoke bombed me! Alright, well, there wasn't much I could do there about that one. It was already sort of falling off. Can't believe they do that to Wave Rock. That's my favorite rock. Uh, 
Uh, am I, am I going up? I am. Ooh, oh, right over here. I thought it was gonna be a way, like, longer journey. It was not. You must be the guru. I'm a good friend of Murray's. He's come asking to be released. Oh, you're very small. Sure, I'll just bust you out of here and we'll go talk to him. Hi, how are you, Zampata? You seriously won't leave without your gear? How can you understand him? Also, I love the Australian that he's speaking. Yeah, I can see that the miners have really done a number on your land here. As for your walking staff and moonstone, me and my gang have a real talent for stealing back things that were wrongfully taken. Very insightful. All right, so job complete, uh, and I'm sure Bentley's gonna give us the run through of how we're gonna get the stuff back. Runners to Bentley. Does he need that to evolve to a cool fable? Him individually, something about judging our spiritual centers. I've discovered a should have already judged Murray's case that should make getting up to the guru less difficult. He also mentioned that the miters had foolishly unearthed the mask of dark earth. Ooh. I guess it was his job to guard the thing, and now that it's out, bad things are sure to follow. Sounds like mumbo jumbo to me. But we've encountered some unexplainable phenomena over the years, so I'm not gonna rule it out as a threat to our operation. Yeah, remember the ghosts in the last game? Like, stuff's there, man. It's real. All right, we've got ourselves a nice little setup here. Uh, we've got a job for all three. Uh, just kidding, not Bentley. I guess we have to do Murray first, and then maybe Bentley uh, comes after. So, uh, yeah, we're probably going to play as Murray for a bit next time. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully you all are as well. If so, let me know, and I will see you all the next time. So, till then, peace out.